It's the United States versus Great Britain. Thomas the Bachman engine versus Thomas the Hornby engine. Which of these top rated toy trains in the USA and UK will win in a series of tests on style, strength and sheer power? In the original review, we saw how the performance of the Hornby Thomas was superior to the lighter Bachman model, and there were other areas where the two models didn't match up to their respective prices. However, it was the traction tyres in use on the Hornby Thomas that pretty much won the day, allowing the model to pull a heavy 11 coach train with some ease. However, all was not as it seemed, and after several dozen emails and one very insightful video response from Leo Kim Video, I decided to bring back Team Thomas for a follow up review. Only this time they are joined by two new models, one Hornby Thomas and one Buckman Thomas, made in 2010. The Hornby Thomas from the first review will gain a few aesthetic changes, so we can tell the difference between the two Hornby models. We will also describe him as Traction Tire Thomas from now on. Traction Tire Thomas has proved itself a reliable and surprisingly well performing model, and most of that can be attributed to the traction tires on its centre wheel set. So, has anything changed with the latest incarnation of the same model? The 2010 Hornby Thomas has one key difference straight away. The face is much darker grey than that on the traction tyre Thomas. The other noticeable change is that the driving wheels are a much lighter colour than on the traction tyre Thomas, but the body shell is about the same, making it darker than its wheels. One thing I noticed on the 2010 Thomas was a distortion in the plastic on the bunker. On close examination of Leo Kim Video's footage, and my traction tyre Thomas, it seems that this is a common fault, possibly in the tooling. Both models have their simple liveries crisply printed, though the red colour on the later model is somewhat darker. Looking at the chassis, the same motor and gear assembly from the traction tyre Thomas is used in the 2010 model. However, this is where it gets interesting. The 2010 Thomas has a new centre wheel set, which has a full depth rim with flange to match the outer driving wheels. The traction tyres which appeared on the earlier model are nowhere to be seen. In contrast to the set which Leo Kim Video's Thomas came in, my single 2010 Hornby Thomas came with a set of instructions and the words traction tyres are nowhere to be seen. Curiously, all of the illustrations show the centre wheel sets to have tyres fitted. Watching the two models go around the Copley Hill circuit, it is clear just how much the traction tyre Thomas bumps around the layout. In comparison, the 2010 Thomas is a supremely smooth operator. There's no doubt in my mind that the new model is better of the two in terms of ride quality. The new centre wheel set has eliminated the wobble of the previous model. Moving on to the Backman Thomas models, you can see, as with the traction tyre Thomas, I've made a few changes to the older model to tell it apart from the new one. The original flimsy buffers were replaced with sprung metal replacements not long after an accident. They are mechanically and aesthetically identical. Their packaging gives away the respective dates of manufacture. Both models retain the Gulane Thomas Limited 2002 keeper plate on the bottom. My conclusion on the two brands is thus. The Hornby model is a product of small and carefully made changes over a period of nearly 30 years. The Backman Thomas has not changed in the nine years since it first became available. It is clear that the Backman model has all the flavor and look of the TV series model, including the compact shape, and bright livery, but the face and rather flimsy buffers need updating. Now we move on to the test of strength. In the haulage capacity test, each model has to pull a train of coaches, the standard coach being used for this test, the ubiquitous Hornby Mark I coach. The weight of one Hornby Mark I coach is 5 ounces, roughly 140 grams. The winner is the engine that pulls the heaviest load. Traction Tire Thomas weighed 5 ounces, 140 grams, and the 2010 Thomas weighed in the same, at 5 ounces, approximately 140 grams. The two Backman Thomas models weighed exactly the same at 3.2 ounces, approximately 90 grams. I tested the four models and counted the number of coaches each model could pull easily. The Traction Tire Thomas was, as before, happy pulling 11 coaches, equal to 54 ounces, 1,540 grams 
while the two Backman Thomas models were left struggling with five coaches. That's 25 ounces, about 700 grams. But what of the 2010 Hornby Thomas? I was expecting the new Hornby Thomas to be a really poor performer, but the model straight out of the box surprised me, pulling exactly the same load as the traction tyre Thomas, albeit with more wheel spin. It is clear that this model could not pull any more coaches without really struggling, although it must be noted that the traction tyre Thomas is a slower machine, thanks to its tyres. So what is the key here? Both engines pulled a train of coaches which have all been separately weighed and tested for their freewheeling capability. They are the same type of coach and each coach is the same weight. Where one coach is lighter it has been filled with lead shot to bring its total weight up to 5 ounces. The wheels and axle boxes of each bogey have been lightly oiled and the train runs very freely. It is clear that both Hornby Thomas models would be comfortable performers with a well maintained train up to and including 11 coaches. The next test was the tug of war. The tug of war utilises a specially made double track line, where two locos will pull and push against each other to see which is stronger. This track has been wired up to allow the models to run on 16 volts together at the same time. It's a round robin competition, each model taking on the other three in the group. In match 1, Traction Tire Thomas pulled the 2010 Hornby Thomas away very, very easily. In match 2, 2010 Hornby Thomas took on the original Backman Thomas and sent it packing. In match 3, 2010 Thomas took on the newer Backman Thomas and sent it to the scrapyard. Now it was time for the old Team Thomas to face off against the new Team Thomas. In a not so close match, the old guard won, the fight between the four models eventually leading to the new team losing grip and being towed away. Now for the final test, a test of speed. The time trial test consists of a race around the Copley Hill Circuit, a generic train set oval. Each model will be timed speeding around the Copley Hill Circuit, the winner putting in the fastest time. We've got four models to go through today, so here's a montage of the models doing their laps. Now for the times. The original Team Thomas did their times in 10.1 and 11 seconds respectively, whereas the newcomers did their times in 7.2 seconds and 9.6 seconds respectively. So the current leaderboard is as follows. It's amazing. Minus the traction tyres, the Hornby Thomas is a much faster model, putting in speeds comparable to some of the fastest engines tested on the Copley Hill circuit. We move on now to the recommended retail price of the two models for 2011. The recommended retail price for the Hornby Thomas was revised earlier this year to £47.49, which is $77.40. The recommended retail price for the Backman Thomas was also revised to $50, which is £30.68. The Hornby Thomas models are still better performing, despite the lack of traction tyres. But I can't help but feel that more flaws have emerged as a result of going over the models once more. The difference in the last review to this one is that the scales have been lifted from the eyes, and the Hornby Thomas is far, far too expensive for what it is. Being close to £50, that's nearly $82 at the current exchange rate, for a model which has been in the range since the mid-1980s, is ridiculously overpriced. The Backman Thomas also feels a tad overpriced, but you can almost buy two of them for the price of one Hornby Thomas. Overall, the performance is still there in the Hornby Thomas, but the new higher price and slight changes to the livery application make it an expensive, flawed choice of double O gauge Thomas. So on that bombshell it's time to end. Thank you very much for watching.